to mark the Platinum Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II, the National Army Museum invited artist Kessia Burt to live sculpt a commemorative bronze portrait bust of Her Majesty. In the wake of Her Majesty's death, this commission has become even more poignant. The sculpture has become a fitting tribute to Her Majesty and her own service in the British Army. For us at the National Army Museum, it symbolises what she meant to so many as Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. The bust is based on photographs of her wartime service from the National Army Museum's collection when she was still Princess Elizabeth. The commission will enter the National Army Museum's permanent collection, only portrait bust in existence in a public collection capturing her likeness during her service in the Auxiliary Territorial Service. My name is Kezia Burt and I'm the artist in residence here at the National Army Museum and I'm here sculpting a portrait bust to commemorate the Queen's 70 years of service. The Queen will be portrayed as her 18 year old self um, during her wartime service with the ATS. During the Second World War, Princess Elizabeth joined the ATS in February 1945 as second subaltern Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor. By the end of the war, she had reached the rank of junior commander, having completed her course at Number no. 1 Mechanical Training Centre of the ATS at Aldershot and passed out as a fully qualified driver. Their groundbreaking work was taken up in the post-war era by a new force, the Women's Royal Army Corps. The Princess and thousands of other women in the ATS took on increasingly diverse roles during the war. As well as drivers and mechanics, ATS women were telephonists, dispatch riders, mess orderlies, postal workers and searchlight operators, amongst many other roles. Their groundbreaking work was taken up in the post-war era by a new force, the Women's Royal Army Corps. Princess Elizabeth continued to play a role in this new organisation holding honorary ranks until 1953, when she resigned these appointments on becoming Queen. Recently I started with um, the bust peg, which is the wooden base, um, with a metal armature inside to support the weight of the clay, and some little butterfly pugs, you can see there, um, that help support the weight of the shoulders. And um, essentially I've just worked off a penny, so essentially the profile um, of the portrait, very much like you'd see her on the banknotes and our currency. With a live sitting, I'd use my calipers to measure, but because we don't have Her Majesty, she's very busy, she's 96, and she's not sitting for me, I've used a reference of a, um, one of the members of the staff from here at NAM, and I've measured the approximate um, similarities in terms of height and width of face that would match the Queen. So we have done some measuring, um, but a lot of this is working off um, the photographs. The best bit of this so far has been like literally interacting with the public. It's been so much fun having them ask me questions, explaining how a bronze is made from the beginning of sculpting with clay to the bronze finish and the patina. Um, the excitement from the general public has actually been really inspiring as well. It's, it's just my hands. Loads of people use loads of fiddly tools. I don't. It's really instinctive. It's just my hands and my eyes having a conversation with each other. My brain is able to kind of just actually switch off a bit and just be in this very meditative state which is a glorious experience. <laughs> 